everyone and today I'm doing the paranormal tag I haven't been tagged but today I'm doing an inspiration video to Graveyard Girl so I love you Graveyard Girl and yeah she's Maya my friend she's here visiting me and she wanted to bring a video so I said yeah let's go do it and I will try her and I will ask her if she can answer some of the questions too so yeah let's just start with the tag um, oh yeah, do you like that? I love it. Okay, the first question is, how old were you had when? You, how old were you when you had your first paranormal experience? Okay, I think that I was like five, and actually I saw I seen like a man in my living room. So yeah, then Maya, like, how old were you when you had your first paranormal experience? Well. Around three and four, because I I believe like someone's always there in the dark, and so I get scared. <laughs> okay, number two, have you always believed in ghosts? Yeah. <laughs> number three, where is your favorite place to investigate? I actually had investigated at my house and at a friend's house, but I prefer the friend's house because it's really a scary house. Like it is like her. It is a her house, but there's like an abandoned building in her like neighborhood. And it's really really cool. So yeah, Maya. Um. Uh, well, sometimes at the park, and most of all at my friend's house. Okay. So, what is your favorite investigation tool? So I I like an electromagnetic field detector. But when I'm like in a house with Wi-Fi and everything, I use I love to do pictures. Same as her. <laughs> so, what is your scary paranormal experience? Okay, here it is. My scary paranormal experience is like a sequence of things that happened to me, and I was li literally terrified about it. So yeah, the first thing that happened was that one night I was like at home, like not alone. But my mom was sleeping at her bedroom, and I was in my grandparents' bedroom all the way at the other ha part of my house. So I have a really big house, so it was like a long space. She couldn't hear me even if I shot. So yeah, I was there. Night, alone, my grandpas were in a home. So I was like, ooh, freaking out. But already, lad, I'm not that scary, so I was watching to be relaxing. And the door opened. And I was like, what? Well, the windows were closed at my house. It was nighttime. So I was like, yeah, okay. My mom should li had left like, a door open or something. I need to make wind. So I closed the door and I slept. Like at 3 of the morning, I hear like, all my house has a nap. Top, uh, nap. Uh, I don't know how to say this. Like, uh, carpet. Carpet. Oh, <laughs> the word had fall off on me. So I heard this sound in the carpet and I was like, you hear when you hear steps in a carpet. If you live in a carpet house, you know there are steps and nothing else. So I was like, "What's that?" And like before that, the the door opened, and then I heard those three sounds, and I was like, "What's that?" And I was like, "Bride, bride, bride, wake up!" Because I was watching a TV show, so I get asleep, and then I wake up like two thirty, and that's happened three. So I was like, "Bride, bride, 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 wake up!" I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And then something touched my feet. And I was like really, really scared. So yeah, I was already scared by that. Freaking out, shouting. My mom had to go to my room and sleep with me. That's okay. And at the other day I was in the same room hearing music. And literally, I was hearing music and dancing and the door like straight like if you have like the doors, you hear when they like do this and then and then open. It was that sound, and there's no was no one in the hall. So yeah, it was <laughs> it was super strange. That day, like the door opened, and I ran out of the room. I don't know why, but I feel like super scared. I feel like someone was there, so I ran out of the room, and like my mom had to sleep with me for the next week. So then I wake went all the way to my room again and like I have the TV on and I was I turned off the TV and I was just like going out 
my room for going down. And when I was like in the door, the TV turned on. And like my TV is at one side, I mean my door is another one. And my TV turned on. And I just literally, literally said, if you want to stay, you stay with the TV off. I go back, I turn off the TV, I went down and I closed the door. I slammed it. And after that, wait, my grandma is calling me. Yeah, so we're back and we changed seats. <laughs> Continuing with the story. So, it was like a few days. And a few, like a few days. And I was like at the kitchen and my grandma was there already. I was seated and I like stand up and there's like a door that goes to the washing room in the kitchen. So like passing through that door and I see a lady with a hat. What's freak out of that is that I had a dream with that lady and I'm sure that she was the fucking that was bothering me. So I was like literally shouting. I went up to my room, I closed the door, and I literally shot. Please go off of here. And I never ever seen that everything else. But I'm sure it's still there somewhere. So yeah, that was my scariest one. So which one was your okay. scariest one? When I was living in England, um my dad and uh, my grandpa, uh sorry, uh recently passed away. And now uh, I sometimes like have a dream with the future in it. And so one, one time, uh, I had a dream that I was going to see my grandpa again, but in my in my house's bathroom. Weird. Come here. And um, so one t day, I woke up in the middle of the night, needing the bathroom. And so I went to the bathroom, and I saw a man that looked at a lot like my grandpa. And I freaked out about it because I didn't know him that well. I only visited him because he smoked a lot when I was younger. So he was a very ill man and he couldn't talk or anything like that. Okay, so now, what is your favorite paranormal experience? So yeah, my favorite paranormal experience, it's a little bit like silly, but when I was little, like, not little, I was like 10 years old, and like, I had a sickness in my knee. So yeah, I was sleeping one night, and I was really, really scared for a room in my house, I still are. Like, the room, like, it's like, in front of my mother's bedroom. So yeah, it's real scary, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, scared of the room like, two weeks in that time. And like, I had race in this house, so it was really strange to me to have a scare of a room. So I was like scared, scared, scared. And one night I was sleeping, and like I used to walk at night. <laughs> it's something that happens. Yeah, you. So I wake up at night, and I was like, okay, I'll be taking a walk from my house. <laughs> so I wake up, and I went all the way to that room. I don't know why. I entered to that room, didn't turn off the light, didn't turn on the light. But it was really strange talking about me. It isn't a strange talking about me. Yeah. Don't turn in the light on. Yeah. I always turn the light on. So, yeah. I was literally freaking out. So, I opened, like, a part of my closet. I open it, and I see something coming off of it. So, I start running, 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 and I fall on the stairs because I shouldn't have been running because my knee was wrong. So I fall off, and when I like turn around, I see like my, um, I don't know how to say it. It's like my the daughter of my grandfather. So he, the father of my grandfather. So I saw him, and I was like really freaking out, but he really calmed me a lot, and I I love the experience. I don't know why. Okay, my turn. Well, um, uh, well, I uh, as you know. Woman in Black, if you don't know, like her probably. Uh, Woman in Black is a scary film. I love that film. And there's Woman in Black 2 now. Oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> and I watched Woman in Black 2, and my brothers kept annoying me all night. But then I went to sleep, and I have this picture uh, of a tree in the middle of a field, only one tree. <gasps> okay, and... <laughs> 
and um, I saw the woman in black there. I was like, but it was, she was wearing a clown's red nose. So I kind of liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and both and crows were around her, and a few may of poops. Strange. I know, my so, do you know anyone else personally who has a paranormal experience? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you have trouble convincing friends and family about your paranormal experience? <laughs> I will say that sometimes. What I do is I don't tell them. I just don't tell them. So, yeah, now, do you have... Nine favorite paranormal TV show, TV show or movie. Mm, I actually love a paranormal show that was in Discovery and it was uh, called Historias de Ultra Tumba. And I remember one chapter where it, it was this family and the man and like a baby, and the ghost protects the baby of the man because she didn't like the man. It was like a lady girl ghost and it was super cool. I don't really, I don't like watch TV much. I I watch TV obviously when I get bored. I watch and a film. Time. A film? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any scary movie or something like that? Women in Black One, Women in Black Two, uh, Conjuring. Oh, um, I love the Conjuring. Oh, no, and there's this one. But I hate Annabelle. I've never watched it because I'm too young. <laughs> no, I don't like it. It isn't scary. Okay. And there's this one that I don't know what it's called, but I love. I think it's called The Awakening. I don't know. And and it's with uh, this lady whose brother gets killed by his father by accident because their mom and dad were fighting and he had a gun, and then so he turned as a ghost. But then, oh, it's all just messed up. Okay, I can't tell you. It's too hard. Okay, so what would be the dr your dream place to investigate? Well, I'm really scared of stuff. I want to go to a mental institute. Like oh. an old mental institute. That is awesome. I'm going to that as well. That is so cool. But I'll probably pee my pants. <laughs> oh my. Um, so, yeah. Uh, do you prefer to investigate alone or in a group? I think that in a group. Uh, but no. the group has to be civilizated. Like, not joking or messing around. Yeah, and also it's kind of scary. See, in movies, from movies, um, they take one person at a time, you know? Yeah. And that, I would not like that, so. Yeah, so I'll be in group, I think. So if they are, like, really, if I'm like, you, professional. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't like it if they are really professional, but if they are messing around and those things, it's probably that they were invocated and other things. So scared. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, okay, let me is your home one. haunted? Yes. No, but I want to say something. I'm feeling right scared right now because uh, I'm hearing all these creaks and the door just opened of her closet, so... Oh yeah, and the door of my closet always opens at night. Okay. It's yeah. something that happens. So, have you ever had any paranormal experience with animals? I think that no. no. Oh yeah, I lied. I had one. When my dog died, I had a schnauzer and he died because of a sickness. So we had to like kill him, like give him the injection because he was really, really bad and I got insane and so yeah. And it was like, <laughs> she's really scared. <laughs> so it was like the night of that day and like me, my mom and my grandma here, it's sad the same thing. There weren't dogs or animals at the house, but like in the kitchen, my dog used to sleep in the kitchen. And, and he was like blind because, because of his sickness. So every night when he sleep, like the chairs move. So we were already like really normal to that sound. But like at, he didn't even like last here anymore. We hear exactly that chair creaking all night long. Like he was asleep, like not asleep all night. So we were really not scared, but we feel like he was visiting us. I have no paranormal things with animals. So yeah. Um, we finished, I think so. It was a real scary video for her. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, please follow me on Instagram. I and need I a toilet. Put, and I will put you on your Instagram down below also. 
So yeah, follow her on Instagram. And I will put a Facebook page for this. And also my Instagram name, I already memorized it, is Mary I added this. <sighs> Mary Peace Love <laughs> You. Mary Peace Love You. And yeah. Um see you in another video. And I hope you enjoy it. Sorry for this video be super long and bye! bye.